So following that thread up to the present, your PhD work at the MIT Media Lab focuses on the design of comfortable prosthetic um, sockets. Can, can you tell us a little bit about um, kind of how you got interested in, in this topic to begin with? The prosthetic sockets is that interface in which the, the residual limb sits. Um, and it's, it's really essential because it's the part that connects your body to the prosthesis. And if it is not comfortable, um, you, 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 you really wouldn't use your prosthesis. And in Sierra Leone, before I left to come to do my undergrad here, um, I had phoned up a mentor here, Paul Bottino, and had this conversation about entrepreneurship and innovation. And he told me that I should go and talk to um, our patients uh, who were in Sierra Leone. And they had been given free prosthesis, but they weren't using them. I soon found out that it was because it was very uncomfortable. And so I came then, having that experience with Dr. Boima, and having gone out um, and spoken to patients, um, and it was clear why they weren't using their prosthesis, not because they wanted to beg, but because it was uncomfortable and they wouldn't use them anyway. Okay. Um, and, and that was why I kind of wanted to do uh, bioengineering. Okay, so tell us about what you did to kind of solve that problem. The, the design that you have is new, it's unique, so tell us why. Right, so conventionally, the way those prosthetic sockets are designed, even in America, my professor is a double amputee himself, and um, when I came to do my undergrad um, at Harvard, actually, I wanted to do prosthetics work. I wanted to build a prosthetic spine so that people can come and change their prosthesis. But my professor then, who was my mentor, did not do that kind of stuff. So he told me I should work on TV vaccines, which I did. But as I left and wasn't really sure what I was going to do with my life, I got to meet um, Hugh. And he told me that one, the design that I had wasn't going to work, and two, even he himself was in pain. And so it was a universal problem, um, a challenge for people, whether you went Sierra Leone or not. And part of the reason is how it is designed. As a patient, you go to a prosthetist, the prosthetic takes your leg, squeezes on your leg and see how is that? Is it comfortable? You're like, yeah, sure, uh, what about that? And then they modify the positive mold, and then based on that, they create a test socket for you, and then based on the experience, you go and you walk on it, and then you come back and say, nah, it was uncomfortable, and you do this, you get the picture, very non repetitive repeatable, does not use quantitative data, leads to a lot of pressure sores and blisters because we're using carbon fiber socket. Our body is multi-material, the design is not. And so my work is in, in collaboration with a lot of people um, and we create a multi-material 3D printed prosthesis using MRI and modeling. And one of my collaborators, Kevin Mormon, uh, developed this, model, this modeling framework, uh, open source toolkit that we use that allows us to go from MRI to modeling and understanding those soft tissue properties that then tell us what the shape and material properties should be. So it's a global challenge and we're trying to develop this framework that anybody anywhere can send an image, set of data, you press play and kind of have a 3D printable uh, file that you can pick up anywhere. 